to the final. Elena Tunison has to wait. She has to wait. We've got just the head of Abby. Three more paddlers to go. And at the moment, sitting in eight, nine, and ten is Tunison, Lee Path, and the gold medalist from last week, Eleanor Lillick, who is currently sitting tenth and could possibly miss the final one week after winning gold, which would be yeah. I think that's wild. This is crazy about our sport. Isn't it? It really is. <laughs> you can be World Cup gold medalist and next week you're off the final. It's yep. Yep. Well, kind of crazy. It really, really is. But that's what makes the sport so beautiful. So yeah. unpredictable. And it's, it, it's the unpredictability about it that I think makes it just so much more exciting to watch. I mean, people love their tennis and they love their football and all that sort of stuff. But you just don't know what's going to happen here. Anymore. An yeah, event and can change. Yeah, more... Motivate, like you can motivate yourself a lot more, and it's more inspiring because you know anything can happen, and it's not only about sprint in the flat. So, Aliska Mintelova, who made the final last week, she finished 10th in the final, but um, paddled, uh, paddled pretty well. So, I don't think today, though, is going to be her day. She's already yeah, down she's got quite that a bit. Review she as well, at number yeah. four. Yeah. So, we'll see what that is. I actually don't remember what happened. No. So seven and a half seconds down, so a bit too much, unfortunately, to make up in this part of the course, which yeah. will probably mean that Elena Tunison will be through to another final. Yeah, wow. Such a great news story for, for that young lady from the Netherlands. Definitely. So Aliska Mintelova crosses now in 16th, so no finals action for her. But there is finals action for